Hello! Today, we're going to learn geometric sequence. I am Chordons and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, illustrate geometric sequence, differentiate geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence, and determine the end term of a geometric sequence. Important notes. Geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed non-zero constant. The fixed constant is called the common ratio. It is denoted by small letter r. I have here a sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, and 162, where a sub 1 is 2. A sub 2 is 6, A sub 3 is 18, A sub 4 is 54, and A sub 5 is 162. How to find for the common ratio? We get the value of the second term and divide it to the value of the first term, or the third term and divide it to the second term, and so on. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 18 divided by 6, that is 3. 54 divided by 18, that is also 3. And 162 divided by 54 is also equal to 3. The answer is called the common ratio or it is equal to R. The given sequence is called a finite geometric sequence because the last term is given. Now, I have here another sequence. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. So, our A sub 1 is equal to 1. A sub 2 is 2. A sub 3 is 4. A sub 4 is 8. A sub 5 is 16, and so on. How to find for the common ratio? We simply divide the second term to the first one, and the third term to the second term, and so on. So, 2 divided by 1 equals 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And 16 divided by 8 is also 2. So, our common ratio is equal to 2. The given sequence is called an infinite geometric sequence because of the three dots called ellipses. It implies that the terms will continue endlessly. Okay, let's take a closer look. Arithmetic sequence versus geometric sequence. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. That's our first sequence. And 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 is the second one. What did you observe? In the first sequence, you add 2 to get the next term. That is, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. So, it is an arithmetic sequence because we add a common difference to get the next term. On the other hand, our second sequence, we multiply 2 to get the next term and that is, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32. And so, it is a geometric sequence because we simply multiply the preceding term to the common ratio to get the next term. Geometric sequence is a sequence with a common ratio. Here is the formula in finding the end term of a geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r is the common ratio. Example number 1. Determine the following sequence if arithmetic or geometric, letter A. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. You're right. It is an arithmetic sequence. Because we simply add 4 to get the next term. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, and so on. Let's try letter B. We have 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Correct! It is a geometric sequence because we multiply it by 2. So, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and so on. How about letter C? 36, 12, 4, and so on. Good job! It is a geometric sequence. Again, we multiply the preceding term by the common ratio. But how do we get the common ratio? That is by dividing the second term to the first term. 
12 divided by 36, that is equal to 1 third. So, going back to our problem, 36 times 1, that is 36, divided by 3, it is equal to 12. And that is our second term. Next, 12 times 1 equals 12, divided by 3, that is equal to 4. And so on. Last letter, letter D. We have 4, negative 4, 4, and negative 4. Very good! It is a geometric sequence. The common ratio is negative 1. Because negative 4 divided by 4, the answer is negative 1. So, 4 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1, same sign, it becomes positive. So, the answer is positive 4. Next, 4 times negative 1, that is equal to negative 4. Example number 2. Find a common ratio and give the next two terms of the sequence. Letter A, 81, 54, 36, blank, blank, and so on. First, find for the common ratio, and that is R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. Your R now is equal to 54 divided by 81, that is equal to 2 thirds. Next, we have 36 divided by 54, and that is also equal to 2 thirds. The value of R now is equal to 2 thirds. So, we multiply it to the given sequence. 81 times 2, that is 162, divided by 3, equals 54. 54 times 2, that is 108, divided by 3, it is equal to 36. 36 times 2, that is 72, divided by 3, it is equal to 24. 24 times 2, that is 48, divided by 3, it is equal to 16. Therefore, the next two terms are 24 and 16. Letter B, we have 1, negative 3, 9, negative 27, blank and blank. To get the common ratio, R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. And that is negative 3 divided by 1, the answer is negative 3. Next, we have 9 divided by negative 3, the answer is negative 3. Last one, we have negative 27 divided by 9, the answer is also negative 3. Now, we're going to multiply to the given terms. 1 times negative 3, it is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3, same sign, it becomes positive, so the answer is positive 9. Next, 9 times negative 3, the answer is negative 27. Negative 27 times negative 3, the answer is positive 81. Again, same sign, it becomes positive. Then, 81 times negative 3, that is equal to negative 243. Therefore, the next two terms are 81 and negative 243. Remember that if our common ratio is negative, we have an alternate signs in the sequence. Example number 3. Find the eighth term of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, and so on. Solution, given. We're looking for a sub 8. a sub 1 is 2, n is 8, r is 2. We get the value of the common ratio by simply dividing the second term to the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, that is 4, divided by 2, the answer is 2. Applying the formula, A sub n is equal to A sub 1, multiplied by R raised to n minus 1, where 2 goes to A sub 1, 8 goes to n, 2 goes to R. Now, we have A sub 8 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 8 minus 1, and that is equal to 7. A sub 8 now is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 7. But what is 2 raised to 7? It means we're going to multiply 2 7 times, and that is equal to 128. A sub 8 now is equal to 2 times 128, and that is equal to 256. Therefore, the 8th term is 256. Example number 4. Given the geometric sequence 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, and so on, find the 7th term. Solution, given. We're looking for a sub 7. a sub 1 is 8, n is 7, r is equal to 1 half. To find the value of r, divide the second term to the first term. a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, that is 4 divided by 8, it is equal to 1 half. 
applying the formula we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1 where 8 goes to a sub 1 7 goes to n 1 half goes to r now we have a sub 7 is equal to 8 multiplied by 1 half raised to 7 minus 1 and that is equal to 6 a sub 7 is equal to 8 multiplied by 1 half raised to 6 Okay, but what is 1 half raised to 6? That is, 1 raised to 6, it is equal to 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 raised to 6, that is, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 64. A sub 7 is equal to 8 times 1 over 64. We multiply 8 to 1. A sub 7 now is equal to 8 over 64. Simplifying it, we have 1 8. Therefore, the seventh term is equal to 1 8. Example number 5. Given the geometric sequence 7, negative 7, 7, and so on, find a sub 14. Solution Given we're looking for a sub 14. a sub 1 is 7, n is 14, r is negative 1. Again, we divide the second term to the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, that is negative 7, divided by 7, the answer is negative 1. And that's our common ratio. Applying the formula, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1. Where 7 goes to A sub 1, 14 goes to n, negative 1 goes to R. Now we have A sub 14 is equal to 7 multiplied by negative 1 raised to 14 minus 1. And that is equal to 13. A sub 14 now is equal to 7 multiplied by negative 1 raised to 13. But what is negative 1 raised to 13? That is equal to negative 1. A sub 14 now is equal to 7 multiplied by negative 1 and that is equal to negative 7. Therefore, the 14th term is negative 7. Okay, now it's your time to practice. Find the specified term of the following geometric sequence. Number 1, 81, 54, 36, and so on. Solve for the seventh term. Number 2, 2, negative 6, 18, and so on. Find for a sub 9. And number 3, 160, negative 80, 40, and negative 20, and so on. You are asked to find for the eighth term. Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!